one hot burrito. Are you going to record? Good, good help. Mm -mm. That's above my pay grade. I'm using your words. Uh-huh. Yeah, trying to be cute. Miss Cute Boots. What other kind of boots I'm supposed to have? Okay, you guys. So, here's another report. If you are looking for the right kind of citrus that deal with the cold and the ice and the snow. Yes, that's what I'm checking right now. Lady Leah want to know, how is her avocado tree? This is the Mexico La Grande avocado tree. And it's going through right now. It's 19 degrees. These leaves would have fell off and shriveled up by now. As you can see, all of the pieces of this tree is still handling this ice cold. The leaves still look the exact same they did no matter what. So, so far, the Mexico La Grande avocado tree. Let's, let's look at what it is. Here's the, here's the sign here. The Mexico La Grande is the one that can handle this cold. This tree is doing magnificent. Here's a Eureka. They say the Eureka lemon can't handle the ice and snow. That's a lie. Here you go, right here. All of my brown select satsumas. This is them right here under, under the snow and ice. Look at that. These are the brown select, my favorite, brown select satsuma <clears throat> Satsuma oranges. They're doing fine under the snow and ice, and they are planted in the ground. This is my tree, Lillian, Meyer lemon tree. You ask me, why don't I have it covered up? Because all of that ice and all of that snow, is go acts, it acts as a barrier. This works just as good as covering it up with a tarp, if not better, because it's doing it naturally and it's getting your tree naturally used to this. Now, remember, my tree's been in the ground for a couple years, so I wouldn't advise any of this for, you just planted it not too long ago. As long as the temperature stay around this, this temperature here, my tree is gonna be fine. Here you go, you guys. Brown Select Satsuma. I also, let's, let's go one more. Brown Select Satsuma. Mexico La Grande avocado tree let's let's go through here over the river and through the woods ruby red grapefruit meyer lemon blood orange uh blood orange tree blood orange bearer's lime and last but not least, my sweet Miwa kumquat. All of these trees are doing great in the cold. All of my trees have been in the ground for at least a year or two. All of them. These, the blood oranges, the Smith blood oranges, and my bear's lime, they're all in containers still. But after this year, I'm going to put them all in the ground. I always try to keep my citrus in containers until they almost become root bound. And then I put them in the ground. I let them harden up and get brown and woody. Then I put them in the ground. Just to let you know, guys, this is a uh, Lemon Lane, Citrus City, and uh, everything is looking good. So there you go. Just in case you're wondering, which trees should you pick if you got a, a half cold climate like this? Remember, I'm in the Carolina, so we ain't gonna, this is a freak show with all this snow. This ain't gonna stay here long. So if you're looking for citrus to buy and you're worried about the temperatures, if you have mild temperatures like this and every blue moon, you're gonna get a little snow and ice, these trees are gonna make it. The Mexico La Grande, the Meyer Lemon, and... 
the Eureka Lemon, Brown Select, and the and the Brown Select Satsuma. All of those trees will make it, you guys. So just in case, all right? Live Farmer 73, keep those on your list next time you go shopping. And uh, I love you, and I'm out.